Crimes, organized retail thefts are growing more common. These filling carts and walking out of the store without batting an eye. But now we're seeing how quickly these incidents can turn violent when a team of two went on a theft spree at Home Depots across Florida. CBS 12's Katie Benty joins us live tonight outside of a storefront in West Palm Beach with the details on the latest arrests and what state and local leaders are doing to crack down on these sorts of crime. That's right, Jim. I mean, talk about partners in crime. Deputies say this duo was going store to store attempting to pay for cartloads of merchandise with fake money. And if that wasn't bad enough, they say that one of the guys would go as far as to attack an employee who tried to stand in his way while the other would roll out with the goods. Deputies say these two 25 year olds are the faces behind a series of violent thefts at Home Depot stores across Florida including Palm Beach and Martin counties. According to Attorney General Ashley Moody, Raheem Davis Jr. and his partner, Vaishon Harris, had a game plan. After loading up thousands of dollars worth of merchandise, they'd use counterfeit money to pay at the outdoor checkout, and sometimes they get away with it, but not always. Desperate criminals do desperate things, and they'll resort to violence so as not to get caught. If things go bad, then they are very equipped to enact violence on people because they usually show up with a weapon. Other times when employees questioned them, Davis would allegedly attempt to break into the cash register, assaulting anyone in his way. At one point, Moody claims he went as far as to pepper spray a clerk. While everyone's distracted, his sidekick would take the car and load up the car. A top Home Depot executive went to Congress late last year asking for help, noting previous incidents where employees were threatened with knives and guns. Florida is already cracking down. It's important to be proactive. Uh, we, we cannot be reactive to the trends that are happening uh, around the country. The governor was in Stewart just last week signing new legislation that'll make the punishment for these thieves more than just a slap on the wrist. While HB 549 won't take effect until October, Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg says that doesn't stop them from working with police to put these criminals behind bars. Law enforcement is not going to do their jobs if they don't think that prosecutors are going to stand behind them and actually file and prosecute these cases. In this case, Davis faces several charges, including burglary with assault and robbery with a weapon, both already considered first degree felonies. Davis and Harris are already both in custody for previous unrelated charges. We reached out to Home Depot to see what their employee policy is when responding to theft or suspected theft. And they actually just got back to us a little bit ago. They say for safety reasons, anyone who is not security personnel is advised to never interact with a suspected shoplifter. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News.